Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. See you, sir. Oh, send them right in. Major Grayson? Yes, Mrs. Carmichael, come right in, won't you? How do you do? How do you do? This is my son, Jerry. Hi there, Scout. Oh, How do you do? Excuse me. <laughs> well, you sit down. Thank you. You sit over there, dear. I uh, have your letter right here. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I would have typed the whole letter, but the ribbon broke. <laughs> I wanted to finish it in ink, but uh, Jerry borrowed my pen for school. All right. Anyway, I, I think better in crayon. <laughs> There's no need to apologize, Mrs. Carmichael. After all, Abraham Lincoln wrote his greatest speech on the back of a paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't as tough to get a kid in school in those days. <laughs> well, we always find room for a boy who's qualified. Oh, good, good. Uh, Mrs. Carmichael, yes, well, I'll, I'll just get your application. Here we are. Now then, tell me, young man, how did you come to select our school? Well, I wrote to a lot of schools, and the letter I got back from you said you had baseball, football, horseback riding, and a swimming pool. Conducted your own survey, huh? <laughs> He's very smart for his age. Well, we also have mathematics, history, English, geography, and Latin. You didn't say that in your letter. <laughs> well, we're smart for our age. <laughs> but it didn't all work. We do have a very fine recreation program here, and we're quite proud of our baseball team. Yeah, I saw the baseball field. Yes, Jerry's very fond of baseball. Back home in the Little League, he played second base and batted 298. Is that so? Yes, and he would have batted well over 300 if it hadn't been for some very bad umpiring. Mom, you're not supposed to say that. Why not? It's just not big league. Oh. <laughs> well, Mrs. Carmichael, your application seems to be in order. I'll register Jerry now, and he can be admitted on Monday. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, uh, what I'll need is his transfer slip from his former school. Oh, yes, the transfer slip. I have it right here, sir. Thank you. Yep. Now what? Look at the... It's only bubble gum. I'm terribly sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. We're uh, experts at removing gum and scraping peanut butter off homework paper. I beg your pardon, sir? Yes, Corporal? The bus is waiting. We're right there. Well, Mrs. Carmichael, I'll uh, look forward to seeing you on Monday. Right now, I have a bus waiting to take our baseball team on an outing. Oh. Baseball team? Yes. And we're going to Marineland. It's Jimmy Pierce all day. He's going to be down there signing autographs. Gee, Jimmy Pearsall, he's my favorite player. Oh, uh, well, uh, I'd like to take you along, Jerry, but regulations won't allow me to accept responsibility for someone who hasn't been admitted officially. Understand? Yes, sir. Fine. But as long as you're here, why don't you have your mother take you over to our stables and see our horses? Maybe visit our gymnasium and swimming pool. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Good boy. Well, I'll see you on Monday then, Mrs. Carmichael. Yes, sir. Thank you. You've been most kind. Thank you, and goodbye. Oh, good goodbye, Major Grayson. Yep. <laughs> Come on, Mom. We might as well go look at the horse. 
bushes. We won't have time for that, Jerry. I've got to go home, change my clothes, go to the bank, and get some money. Why do you have to do all that now? Because you are not going to be the only kid on that baseball team that didn't meet Jimmy Pearsall. Oh, boy! Come on. Come on. I'll take care of it. I'll see this put in the mail in the morning. Thank you very much. Mr. Potter? Yes. Hi, Mrs. Carmichael. I talked to you earlier on the phone. Oh, how do you do, Mrs. Carmichael? How Sit do down, you? please. Thank you. You're the lady whose trust fund has been placed in our care. Yes, sir. And uh, I would like to draw some money in advance on next month's allowance. <laughs> no problem. It isn't. Well, after all, it's your money. Well, my goodness. You know, whenever I tried to get an advance from the man in charge of my account back home, it was it was like pulling teeth. Well, Mrs. Carmichael, I think you'll find banking in California is much more casual. Is that so? Oh, certainly. We try to be understanding. <laughs> After all, there are many people in the low-income bracket who come to us for help in certain emergencies, like a new filter for the swimming pool or an additional <laughs> stereo speaker on the patio. <laughs> Face lift, or nose job, or a trip to Las Vegas. <laughs> Mr. Potter, I am certainly lucky to have a man like you in charge of my account. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Carmichael, but I'm not in charge of your account. Oh? This is being turned over to one of our trust officers. The gentleman in the office over there will help you. Oh, oh, well, thank you very much. You've been most kind. Anytime, Mrs. Carmichael. Thank you. Good day. Good day. You wait right here now, darling. I'll only be a minute. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Money, you You mean you're handling my account again? I am. <laughs> Well, Mr. Potter... Oh, boy. It sure is a small world. It sure is. And if I could find a launching pad, I'd leave it. <laughs> what are you doing out here in California, anyway? Well, last week, the bankers down in Danfield were shifting various executives around, and, well, I was given two choices. And I chose the state of California. What was the other choice? The state of unemployment. <laughs> but, Mrs. Carmichael. What? Did you know that out here in California, some banks give you gifts when you open a new account? They do? Yes, and I'll see to it that you get a lovely gift if you'll open your account at another bank. <laughs> oh, now, don't be like that, Mr. Mooney. Things are going to be different now that I'm out here in California. I'm going to start off with a clean slate. Good. Well, I hope that means that in the future you will limit your spending to the bare necessities of life. Yes, sir. Good. And I have just come face to face with a $20 necessity. For what? I want to go to Marine Land. Marine Land? Yes. How can you call that a necessity? Because I don't want my son to be the only boy in school who doesn't have Jimmy Pearsall's autograph. What? It's Jimmy Pearsall Day at Marine Land. I don't care what day it is. That is still a great extravagance. Well, the bus fare alone is over $5. Well, don't go by bus. No. Find yourself a friend who has a car and have him drive you there. Oh, what an idea. You're wonderful. Oh, thank you. How soon can we leave? <laughs> Me? Well, it was your idea, and you're the only friend I have out here in California. Mrs. Carmichael, can you give me one good reason why I should leave my duties here at the bank to drive you to Marine Land? You bet I can give you one good reason.
this postcard to Aunt Viv and her new husband. I was very pleased when I heard about Mrs. Bagley's marriage. Fine man, Vern Bunsen. Yeah, and you know, Vivian says one of the nicest things about her new husband is that his name matches the initials on her old luggage. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, Sherman's just crazy about his new father. Come on, Mom, let's get going. Jerry, would you like it if someday I got married again and you had a new father? I'd rather have a surfboard. I didn't have surfboards when I got married. Imagine going to Marineland and seeing Jimmy Pearsall all on the same day. You know, Jimmy Pearsall's Jerry's favorite baseball player. He's just great. And when he gets on base, boy, can he steal. Jerry, in the presence of a banker, never use the word steal. There he is, Mom. Jimmy Pearsall. But, but you go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I'll yeah. wait. Oh, yeah. Good luck, fella. Next. Uh, hello. I'm Lucy Carmichael, and my son had me bring him all the way down here to meet you. Fine. Where is he? He's right... Oh, there he is. He's not usually bashful, but you're such a big hero to him. Don't be shy, pal. Shake hands. Hey, you got a pretty good grip. What do you want me to write? I don't know. Oh, just say to Jerry Carmichael from Jimmy Pearsall. How do you spell that? P I E R S A C A R. Uh, M-I-C-H-A-E-L. That's A-E-L. Jerry, do you play ball? Only in the Little League. Once he pitched a no-hitter. Yeah, what was the score? Eight to nothing. Nice win. We lost. <laughs> How could you lose eight to nothing pitching a no-hitter? No hits, but 32 off. Well, it wasn't his fault. It was a, a case of very bad umpiring. Mom, mothers aren't supposed to blame the umpires, are they? Mine does. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our first afternoon's performance will get underway in a few minutes in the Whale Stadium. Oh, boy, Whale. Yeah, well, thank you very much, Mr. Pearsall. Oh, and I hope someday that you, you pitch a no-hitter. Huh? Mom, Jimmy's an outfielder. They don't let him pitch. They don't? Well, we had the same situation, and I'll tell you what to do. Have your mother go to the manager and tell him that you have just as much right to pitch as anybody else. <laughs> Thanks, lady. I'll try that. Okay. Bye-bye. And they call me a kook. Mr. Pearsall, may I have your autograph? Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to begin our afternoon show. Okay. <laughs> this is exciting. Really, Mrs. Carmichael, you are the most unsophisticated woman. I am not unsophisticated. I mean, isn't it exciting for the kids? As far as I'm concerned, if you've seen one whale, you've seen them all. Oh, boy, I see a lot of things swimming around out there. Hey, lady, will you please sit down so we can see? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, look. Sorry. Jerry, what are you doing? What's the matter now? I dropped my ball. Oh, oh dear. I see it. I'll get it. Hey, the show's out there, Buster. <laughs> Grayson is here. Please do not embarrass us. Just getting his ball. Let me hold it. And now, folks, stepping out on the platform to conduct our performance is Marine Land's world famous trainer of marine life, Larry Clark. <laughs> Now, Bubbles, our patriotic whale, will start the festivities by unfurling the American flag. you another one. But Jimmy Pierce all left. Oh, really? All right, I'll get it. If there's anything I hate, it's a smart Alex fish. <laughs> Give my ball! 
Mrs. Carmichael, I'm enrolling your son in our school immediately. I think he'll be a lot safer with us. <laughs> uh, may I help you, sir? No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 